All right, I'm going to build and test a microphone isolation box. So building it's pretty simple and I'm not gonna waste a lot of time with that. Basically, you got a box, you got some foam. The uh, foam has bumps on it. I just happened to get that when I ordered something, but you could use foam without bumps too. The idea is to glue foam onto the inside of a cardboard box and then put your microphone, or in my case, my iPhone, inside of it and see the difference. And the beer is just lousy beer. So that has nothing to do with it other than that's all I got tonight. So I'm gonna cut it up, get this party started, and listen right now to what you hear behind the sound of my voice. There's a lot of ambient noise, even though I'm used to it. I probably can't detect it, but it's kind of loud in the house. I can hear an airplane, hear my refrigerator running. So we're going to put this microphone in the box, or this iPhone in the box, and see how much quieter it is. So if you do selfie videos with your iPhone, or if you do voiceovers in iMovie like I do, maybe you want to build a box and put it in the box when you're doing that. All right, here's the finished product. Okay, that's good. All right, so there, there we go. So now I've got it in the box. You can't see the bumps around the side, so that works. So, so here it comes. One week from tonight in the Pontiac Silverdome in front of 50,000 screaming fans and the millions and millions of screaming fans watching worldwide on YouTube, I will kick your ass from sunup to sundown, from pillar to post, all across God's green earth. If you smell... What the who hoblin is cooking. All right, here's the finished product. Um, hopefully it'll remove some of the echo. So listen to when I talk loud. Hey, how's it going? All right, party. You can hear that, that, that there's some echo because I don't have a whole lot of furniture in here. And um, when I'm quiet, you can hear some background noise. This one won't do too much for the background noise, but it's pretty good for mellowing out my voice and making it sound even more cool than it already is if that's physically possible so we're gonna put it in the box and see how it sounds now one one thing is I didn't build the box wide enough to accommodate my phone which has the camera on the side so you're gonna see some bumps but it's still a pretty good test either way just ignore the bumps so there you go that's the sound in the box so hopefully my voice sounds different and I can do my uh, my movie trailer voice in a world without justice one man stood alone. That man was me, and that man was holding beer from Laos, Cambodia adjacent. Uh, anyway, this is what you would get if you were to build one of these boxes. You get a little bit better sound quality, and if you're doing, you know, if I was doing selfie videos all the time, I'd build a bigger box and put it in it. As it is, I do a lot of voiceover stuff in iMovie on this phone, so I'll just put the phone in the box and then. Um, record inside the box when I'm doing audio voiceovers and it'll sound a little better.